Hello everyone, today let's talk about solving absolute value equations again. Last time I showed a video with five examples and this time I'm going to show another one and this one is on its own because this equation has two absolute values compared to those five examples last time with only one absolute value in the equation. Okay, so we're getting how to solve this equation because each absolute value is already isolated so we can use the definition for the absolute value and get started. Okay, in this case, we're actually going to break this into uh, different cases. Okay, so now let's just look at first case over here. Then you may say, uh, what's going on? Okay, so let me draw the lumbar line. Okay, so this is the lumbar line. This is the x-axis. What happens is that we have the zero, okay? And then now it says that the distance at 2x plus 1 is away from zero is the same distance as when x minus 3 is away from zero. That means what? That means let's say if 2x plus 1 is the number that is right here, we don't know what that value is, but for now, let's just pretend that, okay, so there is a value and it's equal to 2x plus 1, okay? And then it tells you that that distance that we are getting, okay, that is the distance that 2x plus 1 is away from zero, okay? is the same distance when x minus 3 is away from 0. So one possibility is that x minus 3 is also at the same spot, so that now they have the same distance away from 0. And so that means what? They're actually the same number. This is what case 1 is about. And then we are going to write down the equation. So we can say that 2x plus 1 is equal to x minus 3. It's because they're equal, so they have the same distance away from zero, so that's really that simple. And then we can now solve this equation by uh, subtracting x from both sides, okay? And then we can also do, uh, we can do two operations at the same time. So we can, we can get all the x on this side and then all the numbers without the x on the other side. So we can also subtract the one so that we can cancel the one as well. So you can see that that will get canceled, that will get canceled. So now we have 2x minus x, we are just going to get x over here on the left side. And then the right side will be what, negative 3, negative 1, we get negative 4. So that is one solution that we are getting over here. Okay, so that one is simple. Now let's look at another case. So we can look at case two over here and then draw the lumbar line again. Now I already mentioned that um, when we have 2x plus 1 on here, let's pretend that, okay, so it's, let's say it's still a positive number over here. And then there is some distance that is away from zero, okay? We don't know what the number is yet, but right now it says that the distance at 2x plus 1 is away from zero has the same distance when x minus 3 is also away from zero. Now, the, the, uh, the other case is when x minus 3 can be at a different spot, okay? x minus 3 can be in on the other side. And so x minus 3 can be here because that is the same distance. That's another distance. And those two, what happens? They are the same. So those are the same distance that we have. And see that they, in this case, they are actually opposite in signs. They are not really the same number like case one. So in this case, what really happens, okay, is that we are going to set up the equation this way. We have the 2x plus 1. And that is equal to what? That is equal to, now because this is opposite, right? So we are going to have the negative sign and then in front of the x minus 3. So that is the second case. And then we are going to solve this equation. So let's just quickly solve that. And then continue, okay, with the, um, with the subtraction addition of different terms. Okay, so those will get canceled. Those will get canceled. In the left side, we have 3x. In the right side, we are going to have what? 3 minus 1, so we get 2. So what is the answer? We divide both sides by three, we get two over three. And that is another answer. And then you may say, you may say, do we have all the cases already? Um, you can think of it that way, but we're still missing cases because think about this. When I was drawing this diagram over here, when what happens is that I was assuming that both two x plus one and x minus three are 
on the right side, the zero, that means they're positive numbers, right? But do they have to be positive numbers? They can both be negative numbers, right? And actually, this, <clears throat> this doesn't really go well with my picture that I was drawing over here. Because think about this, if we plug the negative four back into the X, then what happens? We get negative four minus three, then what are we getting? We get negative seven, okay? And then we plug the negative four back in here, two times negative four, we get negative eight, plus one, we get negative seven. So you can see that this actually was really just an idea for us to set up the equation, but it may not be that accurate as you can see. This actually, doesn't really work as you can see. So this stuff right here is supposed to be on this side, right? Because they're both negative numbers. And then similarly for case two over here, how do we know that two X plus one must be on this side? And how do we know that X minus three must be on this side? What if they switch? Um, yeah, so maybe, okay, they can be switched. But if we just look at the answer that we got over here, then you can see the two minus two over three minus three, then we get a negative number and then two times two over three um, times X, right? I mean, two times two over three and then plus one that will get a positive number. And so in that case, we actually, uh, this picture looks to be correct. And then you may say, what if we have them switch, right? We're still gonna get the same answer because uh, what really happens is that if you have them switch, then you are just either put the ladies on the other side or the ladies on this side, right? And so in this case, then we are still going to get the same answer. Now you may say, what about the other cases? Um, let's just write down the other cases. I'm not going to draw the picture because uh, as you can see that this picture was already not uh, working. It's really because I... We, sh we will have x minus 3 and then 2x plus 1 on this side. And so that means when you just look at the case 3 here, it's really just having that we have the what? We have negative, okay? And then 2x plus 1 is equal to now the negative of what? Of x minus 3. In fact, this is the 1. As you can see that if we cancel the negative sign, we are getting this equation, which will give us the same answer. So this equation right here, if you plug in the negative four and then you get a negative number, but you put the minus sign, it will give you a positive number. So this will actually belong to this picture, but we need to put the minus signs in front of them. Okay. But as I said at the beginning, I didn't know that X minus three and two X plus one are actually negative numbers. So we are just going to, okay, so just put it here and then let's see what happens. But then of course we realize that the, the numbers were being put in the wrong spot, right? But of course I can modify this one by simply just do what, by simply just add a negative sign into each one. And then I have the right picture. Okay. And then same thing over here, we got in case four. Case four is when if we have them switch, so two x plus one here and then x minus three here, then we are really still going to get the same answer. So we get the, in this case, okay, we have the two x plus one, and then we have the negative sign in front of the two x plus one, and then we are going to get what? We get x minus three. But do you see that we put the minus sign here? It, and then we are going to still get the same answer because the minus sign here or the minus sign here on the left side, the right side, it's when you multiply the whole equation by negative one, then you can get the negative sign to the other side. So algebraically what happens is that we are still going to get the same answer for case three and case four. So here we only need to solve just two of the cases and then we can get the all the real solutions for the equation. Okay, so Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it. And then please subscribe and share the video. I will see you next time.